Hi, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. Today, it's a writing trick. We're gonna start strong. We're gonna use a hook. A hook grabs. A narrative hook grabs your attention. It grabs your attention and makes you want to keep reading. Here are some ways to hook your readers. A question, action, onomatopoeia, description, dialogue, interjection. Remember, a hook grabs a reader's attention and makes them want to keep reading. Let's look at some narrative hooks. Action. I ran as fast as my legs could go, leaping over rocks and dodging around trees. With every step, I hoped I was running fast enough. I needed to get home quickly because something wonderful was about to happen. So here we started with an action, kind of right in the middle of the activity. It definitely makes you want to keep reading to find out what's going to happen next. Here's another example of action. The waves crashed and tumbled the tiny sea turtle as she furiously paddled to reach the deep, calm ocean water. So here we start with a, a physical action, something's happening in the story. That's starting with an action. Another way to hook your readers is with description. The starry sky twinkled gently overhead in the vast, velvety darkness, like a friendly, winking friend. So this description draws you in. Sometimes a description can almost feel like poetry. The turquoise waves gently rolled onto the golden sandy shore with a fine bubbly ruffle at their front edge. Another example of description. So we have action and we have description. Another way is dialogue. Starting with some talking takes you right into the action. I can't believe I won, said my friend. What on earth is that? I asked my friend. So the dialogue puts you right into the action. It's a fun way to start your narrative. Another way is automatopoeia, using those sound words to create a sense of movement, action, and intrigue. Splash! The lucky frog escaped with a giant leap. So here we have kind of an action with an automatopoeia word. Boom, pop, fireworks exploded overhead. Boom and pop sound like the things they represent. They are an example of onomatopoeia, and we can use that to get the action started. Interjection also kind of takes you right into the action. Eek! I shrieked when I saw a mouse, the mouse in my shoe. So the interjection is separate from the sentence. It's usually a piece of dialogue that someone is doing. A strong response to what's going on is an interjection. Hooray! yelled the team when we scored our first goal. So again, an interjection is a way of taking you into the action of the story. And it's one of our hooks that could bring us into the story. A classic way to start a story is with a question. A question that makes you want to keep reading. What would you do if you saw a bear outside your window? I will tell you what I did. Definitely brings you in with that question, thinking about it and then taking you into the story. Another example of a question is, have you ever felt an earthquake? And it makes you want to keep reading all of these narrative hooks do. So use a writing trick, start strong, use a hook. Thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. If you like this, please hit that like button, and I'd love it if you would subscribe. Remember, start strong, use a hook. It's a great writing trick.